Now, we've had our share of problems with so-called alternative bands. What is this word? I mean, I didn't find myself using it. Alternative. Like someone who leads an alternative lifestyle. All I know is that when Guns N' Roses started, ain't no fucking radio stations wanted to play our shit either. Ain't no radio stations wanted to play Metallica. So I think we have the world's biggest alternative crowd here tonight. I think that the, the problem starts when uh, you start thinking that you're different from everybody else on the fucking planet. You may be a little different in what you're doing or how you're going about doing it, but I got a good feeling that you're probably a human. Right? You're probably a human being. And so right now, Alternative, only thing that means to me is someone like Kurt Cobain in Nirvana, who basically is a fucking junkie with a junkie wife. And if the baby's born deformed, I think they both ought to go to prison. That's my feeling. And he's too good and too cool to bring his rock and roll to you. Because the majority of you he doesn't like or want to play to or even have you like his music. It seems to be a general feeling among a lot of alternative bands that they don't want the majority of people even liking them. They, they like it on the outside. <laughs> 